that a baseball general manager can put together quite the outfield from players who play in the major leagues from Mobile, Alabama. Start with Hank Aaron, there's Billy Williams, Willie McCovey, Amos Otis, Juan Pierre. And they had other players too, uh, players like Satchel Page, Ozzy Smith, Pat Double Duty Radcliffe. But two of these outfielders ended up in the New York Mets outfield of 1969. Tommy Agee played football at Mobile County Training School in Mobile, Alabama, and then went to Grambling State University to play football. He was signed by the Cleveland Indians for $60,000. Well, with the Indians organization, he didn't develop real well in the minor leagues. They gave up on him and traded him to the Chicago White Sox, where in 1966, he became the American League Rookie of the Year. But his production fell off in late 67, and in 1968, uh, before the season, the White Sox traded Tommy Agee to the New York Mets primarily for 300 here. Tommy Davis, who I think is also another Mobile native. Well, with the Mets, A.G. was being the very first at bat in spring training by Bob Gibson, and that affected his season quite a bit. Uh, he really struggled, uh, not defensively, I think he won a gold glove. And in 1969, he really put it together for the Mets, finishing in the top 10 of the MVP balloting and becoming the Sporting News National League Comeback Player of the Year. He hit 357 in the World Series, and then the first home World Series game in Chase Stadium, he hit a home run off Jim Palmer and made two spectacular catches in the outfield that potentially saved five runs. Playing next to Tommy Agee in the outfield was Cleon Jones, another great Mobile, Alabama outfielder. Cleon Jones was the offensive leader of the 1969 Mets. He hit 340 with on base percentage of 422 and 16 home runs. Jones hit 429 in the National Championship Series against the Atlanta Braves. Didn't have a great series in 69, but he did uh, participate in the famous uh, shoe polish ball when he was hit by a pitch on his foot and then Gil Hodges showed the ball and with shoe polish to the umpire. Cleon Jones made the final catch of the 1969 World Series, fell to his knees in that iconic moment and then got up and ran to center field to Tommy Agee to be with his best friend and baseball and football teammate at Mobile County High School in Mobile, Alabama. Hello everybody, this is Apple Bryan and Apple Baseball Classics bringing to you the 1960s National League Game 7. This is going to be the 1960 Pittsburgh Pirates and the 1969 New York Mets. The winner of this game will have a leg up on first place. Pirates come into the game at 5-1 and one, while the Mets are 4-2. and two. Our pitchers today are Vinegar Ben Mizell for the Pirates. He's a great B pitcher, no modifiers. And Gary Gentry is on the mound for the New York Mets. He's a great B pitcher with a Y strikeout modifier. The game is basic APA, and we're using the 2011 APA book. We do use master rules for stealing. Ready for the first pitch, let's play ball. Bill Verton steps into the box. Gary Gentry goes into the windup. Here's the pitch to... Billy Verdon. 1-1 one, one roll. That's a hit column roll for the Pirates center fielder. 21 is a double for Bill Verdon. A great start for the Pirates. Here is the number two hitter. Nationally MVP, Dick Grote, 1960. 52 is a 27. Mets are feeling column two, and that is a Y, a strikeout of Dick Grote. Bob Clemente. 
Three three roll. Kome hits the ball on the nose, and fifty four is a single. Driving home, Bill Verdon. Pirates go up one to nothing. Clemente is a fast runner at first. Here's the Pirates' first baseman, Dr. Strange, who has Dick Stewart. 41 is a ground ball to shortstop. Flips the second over to first. 6 4 3 double play. And that 10 20 killing puts a stop, a stop to the Pirates in the first. They get one run. They go up one to nothing. The Mets are coming to bat. All right, Tommy Ag will lead off for the Mets. I forgot to mention um, the Mets actually had three outfielders from Mobile, Alabama, on their '69 roster. If you include Amos Otis as well, here's Tommy Ag. Pitch from Vinegar Ben Mizell, 43, is a roller back to the pitcher. Throws over to Dick Stewart, one away. Shortstop Buddy Harrelson. 52 is a ground ball to third base. Don Hulk throws to Stewart. Two outs. Pirates are feeling column one. Here is Cleon, Cleon Jones. 1-1 one, one roll for Cleon Jones. And 35 is a drive to deep left center field. Jones will round second. He's not stopping there. He'll go to third with a triple. Cleon Jones with a triple, 90 feet away, there's two outs. Here is Don Clendenin with a chance to even up the game. Clendenin swings from the right side, as well as a left-handed pitcher. Here's a pitch to Don Clendenin. 44 is an 8 against a B. That's going to be a flyout to the right fielder, Roberto Clemente. That's the end of the threat. We go to the top of the second. Pirates one and the Mets nothing. All right, Don Hook leads off the top of the second inning for the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're up by one. Here's the pitch to Gary Gentry to Don Hook, a very aggressive ball player. 35 is a base on balls. Hook takes first. And the Pirates have gotten the leadoff batter on in both innings. Here is Smokey Burgess, the catcher. Hoke is a fast runner. Burgess does not have an extra 31 on his car, but he also doesn't strike out much. So I think he might try a hit and run. Here's the pitch to Smokey Burgess, a line drive hitter. 53 is an 18. And the runner is running. Out at first, ground out to shortstop, six to three. Hope goes to second, one away. Here is Bob Skinner, 25 is a eight. That's a ground out to the pitcher gentry. Hope goes to third, and there's two outs. All right, Bill Mazeroski will be walked intentionally to pitch to the pitcher, Gary Gentry. First and third, two away. 6-6 six, six roll by the pitcher. And 53 is a double to center field by the pitcher, uh, Mizell. That drives in two runs. Three to nothing Pirates. Here is Billy Verdon. No, you do your best. You walk to get to the pitcher and sometimes it just doesn't work out. Here's the pitch to Bill Verdon, 35 is a 14 base on balls to the leadoff here, Billy Verdon. First and second. Here is Dick Rowe, a 325 hitter. 
he can extend the misery for Gary Gentry. Here's the pitch. 22 is a 7. That's a single to left. One run will score. The other one goes to third. Four to nothing, Pittsburgh. And that's going to be the end of the day for Gary Gentry. Don Cardwell, a grade C, Z pitcher, will be brought into pitch to Bob Clemente. He'll be a B pitcher for one batter. Runners on first and third, two outs. Here's the pitch to Clemente. 1 6 is a 28. That's a ground out to shortstop that ends the inning. But the Pirates score three times and extend their lead to 4 to nothing. Three handed hitter Art Chamsky will lead off the bottom of the second for the Mets. They've got some work to do. Here's the pitch to Art Chamsky. 1 5 is an 8. That's a fly ball. To center field, where he tells that Billy Verdon is under it and makes the catch. Jerry Grote, 43, is a roller back to Mizell. Two outs. And uh, the second baseman, Ken Boswell. 31 is a base hit for Kenny Boswell. Boswell's at first, fast runner. Ed Charles, the third baseman. Six six roll for Ed Charles. And the next roll is a twenty-three. That's a double over first. And Boswell scores. Not sure on the board, it's four to one. Ed Charles is at second. Um, probably remember him as the small boy in the movie 42. Played with the Kansas City Athletics for quite a while. Here's the pitch to the pitcher, Don Cardwell. 36 is a 12. That's a ground out to third base. Mets are on the board. We go to the top of the third. Pirates three and the Mets one. Pirates four and the Mets one. Here's Dick Stewart leading off the top of the third inning for Pittsburgh. Rolled into a double play his first time up. 46 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Don Hope. 43 is a ground ball back to Cardwell. Throws the first, two outs. Here's Smokey Burgess. 34 is a fly ball to center field. Tommy Agee is under it and makes the catch. Go to the bottom of the fourth. Pirates four. Mets one. All right, Tommy Agee leads off the bottom of third inning for New York. 271 hitter with a 26 home runs in 1969. 31 is a base hit for Tommy Agee. First time the Mets have had their leadoff hitter on. A fast runner as well. He is a D23 in stealing. The D will prevent him from stealing until there's an out, until the sixth inning, and he can steal with any outs. If it's a knee rating, uh, they can't steal until there's two outs, until the sixth inning, and then any outs. Here is Bud Harrelson. Could hit and run, could sacrifice, but the three runs down. Here's the pitch to Bud Harrelson. 55 is an 8 against a B. That's a ground out to third base, sending AG to second. So Harrelson does move the runner anyway, and we got Cleon Jones, a 340 hitter. Mets would like to get something here. Here's a stretch and a pitch to Cleon Jones. 1 3 is a 14. That's going to be a, a walk. First and second, New York. Both are fast. Here is Don Clendenin. He's got some power. Hit 16 home runs and 330 at bats. Here's the pitch to Clendenin. 6 6 roll. That's a drive. 
It might be. It could be. It is out of here. A home run for Keon Jones. And that ties the score at four. What a valuable member of the Mets. Um, I think his first eight or 16 games with the Mets in 69, he had four game winning hits or drove in the go ahead run uh, four times. Here is now with the tied score, a new ball game. Art Shamsky comes to the bat. There's one out. Here's the pitch to Art Shamsky, 41. There's a 26. Ground out to the second baseman, Bill Mazeroski. Two away. And now, Jerry Grove. 64 is a 38. Ball one. And 43 is a ground ball back to Mizell, who throws the first. Three outs, but the Mets score three times. And we go to the top of the fourth with a brand new ball game, four to four. All right, let's take a look at the history maker out of town scoreboard for the National League. After three innings, the Los Angeles Dodgers lead the 61 Mets, one to nothing. 69 Cubs are at the Atlanta Braves. And there's no score after three innings. And then the 62 Giants are at St. Louis. Cardinals scored three times in the bottom of the third to take the lead in that game. They lead 3-2. to two. All right, here at Chase Stadium, Bob Skinner is ready to step into the box. Beginning of the fourth inning, Don Cardwell goes into his windup. And here is the pitch to Bob Skinner. 32 is a 26. Ground out to Kim Boswell at second base. One away. Bill Mazeroski. 23 is a ground out to third base. Two outs. Two ground balls. And here's the pitcher, Vinegar Ben Mizell. 6-6 six, six roll for Mizell, who's having a bang up day with a bat. All right, 32 is a single. And Mizell is two for two with a single and a double. Top of the order, Bill Verdon. One three is a two balls and no strikes. Uh, Don Carwell has a Z modifier. And 32 is a roller to second base. Boswell throws the first. Three outs. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Pittsburgh four and New York four. Kim Boswell leads off the last of the fourth inning for New York. 1-1 one, one roll. That's a hit column roll for Kim Boswell. And 36 is going to be a leadoff double. Boswell's two for two. Ed Charles and then the pitcher. Charles will swing wide. One six is a ground ball to the shortstop. Runner holds. And now the pitcher, Don Cardwell. 45 is a 42 hit by pitch ball. First and second Mets, one down. Manager Danny Murtaugh is going to go to the bullpen and bring in Tom Chaney to pitch to Tommy Agee. Um, Chaney is a grade C, Y, W pitcher. He'll grade, be grade B pitching to the first batter for same sidedness. Tom Chaney is a right handed pitcher out of Morgan, Georgia. Here's the pitch to Tommy Agee. 53 is a 16, feeling column 1. That's a first, uh, better reaches first on an air. Runner out at home, other to third. Batter to second on the throw home. So the air's on center field. Okay, Boswell's thrown out at home, 8 to 2. 
AG is on second. And card ball is on third. So second and third. Now there's two outs. Ken Harrelson, or Bud Harrelson's a batter. And Phil's playing back with two outs. Here's the pitch to Bud Harrelson. 21 is a fly ball to left field. That ends a threat. Mets don't score. We go to the top of the fifth. Pirates four and the Mets four. Former Duke University basketball star Dick Grote leads off for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Here's a pitch from Don Cardwell. 56 is a pop out to the shortstop, Bud Harrelson. One away. Here is Bob Clemente. Clemente is one for two, has an RBI in the game. 42 is a base hit for Bob Clemente. No, wait a minute. He gets a C. It's a pop out to third base. It's two outs. And now Dick Stewart. 61 is a roller to the shortstop Harrelson. Three up and three down for the Pirates. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Pittsburgh four and New York four. All right, here's Cleon Jones. He's tripled, walked, and scored a run. Here's a pitch from Tom Chaney to Cleon Jones of the Mets. 43 is a ground ball back to Chaney. He secures it. Throws to Dick Stewart at first. One away. Going from Denham. 55 is a base hit for Don Clendenin. A single to left center field. Clendenin is two for three. Fast runner at first. Art Shamsky. He's a 300 here in 69. 42 is a walk. First and second. Mets are threatening again. Jerry Grove. Sixty-five is a W base on balls. Cheney has a W modifier, so now the Mets have the bases that are loaded with only one way. Ken Boswell. Timeout. It'll be a new pitcher for Pittsburgh. That's Clem Levine. He's a grade C Y pitcher. Uh, most importantly, he doesn't have that W walk modifier with the bases loaded. He will be a grade B pitcher for one batter only. Bases are loaded. We got Grote at first, Shamsky at second, and Clendenin at third. Can Ken Boswell put a key in the merry-go-round? Here's the pitch to Kenny Boswell. 61 is a 24. The infield was playing deep, so runners out at home and the batter is out of first. That is a 6-2-3 double play. That is the inning. Threat is wiped by the wiped out by Clem Levine with one pitch. Go to the bottom of the fifth. Still tied four to four. Top we go to the top of the sixth. Don Cobrell is still pitching for the Mets. He can go a while. He's rated as a starting pitcher. Don Hoke will lead off the top of the sixth inning for Pittsburgh. Here's the pitch to Don Hoke. Forty five is a Base on balls. Second time Hulk has been patient and walked. Fast runner at first. Here is Smokey Burgess. 23 is a 12. That's going to be a 4-6-3 double play. Or actually I'm feeling column 2. It's a 6-4-3 double play. Six, four, three, twin killing, bases are clear, and now Bob Skinner. Fifteen's a single for Skinner.
average speed. Here is the eighth place hitter, Bill Mazeroski. You might recall that about a week ago, the Pirates were on the channel, and Bill Mazeroski showed us what he, he did in the 60 World Series with a home run in the seventh inning and a home run in the ninth inning in that game to send it to extra innings. Another critical spot here for Mazeroski. There's two outs. Pitchers do up next. The likely pitch hit. The last time we walked in, the pitcher doubled. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to walk him again. Pirates will counter with a pitch hitter, Rocky Nelson. Two outs. Here's the pitch to... Rocky Nelson, 1-2, is a 25. That's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. Ends the inning. And the Pirates don't score. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Pittsburgh, 4, and New York Mets, 4. Fred Green assumes the mound duties for the Pirates. He is a grade B pitcher with a Y strikeout modifier. And Ed Charles leads off for the Mets. Charles is one for two, and he was a 6-6 here. That's going to be a hit column roll for Ed Charles. 52 is a single for Charles. Fast runner at first. D26 stealing. It is a sixth inning, so he can go. All right, Fred Green's move to first is zero, and Smokey Burgess is not great at throwing out runners. Um, he's an eight catcher, and he's not listed um, as there's no number under his throwing arm. But he was below average. I'm going to make him average. I'm going to make him a zero catcher, so zero. Uh, D26, there goes the runner. So 26, 11 through 52, Ed Charles will be safe. Here's the throw. 41, Ed Charles steals second base for the Mets. For their card wall, it's going to try to bunny the third. Forty-five is a forty-two. And Carwell is hit by a pitch ball. Second time he's been plucked. First and second. Tommy Agee. Fred Green gets the sign, goes into the stretch. Here's the pitch to Agee. 44 is an 8 against a B pitcher that's going to be a ground ball to third base. The throw goes to first. And the runners advance. So they got second and third. One away. Pirates will play the infield in for Bud Harrelson. One, two is a 25. Feeling column one. That's going to be a line drive caught by... Dick Stewart, he throws the second and doubles the runner off second. That's an inning ending double play. We go to the top of the seventh. Teams are putting together some base runners, but they're just not scoring. Pirates four and the Mets four. And a quick look at the out of town scoreboard. Provided by History Maker Baseball. That's a free download on their website. <clears throat> and it plays games out quickly, inning by inning rolls. With, you rate them first, it does, just takes a minute. All right, the Los Angeles Dodgers hold a 3-1 lead over the Reds after 6. The Cubs and Braves are tied 2-2 after 6. And there's a lot of scoring in the Giants and San Francisco game. It is San Francisco 5 and, no, excuse me, St. Louis 5 and San Francisco 4 after 6 innings.
Bill Verdon leads off the top of the seventh inning for the Pirates. 21 is a fly ball to left field. Art Shamsky's under it. Makes the catch. One and down. Dick Grote. Grote is one for three. And has driven in a run. 64 is a swing and miss for strike three. Doesn't strike out a lot, but Mets pitching has got him twice today on strikeouts. Bob Clemente, 65, is a pop-up to the catcher. You go to the bottom of the seventh inning, still 4-4. Cleon Jones leads off for the Mets. 24 is a strikeout. The Mets have kept the ball in play. That is the first time a net batter has struck out in this game. Don Clendenin. 65 is a pop-out to catcher. Art Shamsky. That's a walk. He is a slow runner at first. Uh, if there are less than two outs, I'd probably pinch run for him, but I want to keep his bat in the lineup. There's two outs. There's Dick Rope. 65 is a 35. Foul out to the catcher. We take it to the eighth inning, still tied, four to four. Don Carwell returns to the mound for the Mets. He's given the Mets five and a third innings of scoreless relief work. And Dick Stewart will lead off for the Pirates. Having a good day defensively, but not so much on offense. Struck out, rolled into a double play, and rolled out the shortstop. Here's the pitch to Dick Stewart, 36, is a base on balls. Stewart is slow at first base. I've already used my backup first baseman for the Pirates, so um, no pitch runner here. Here is Don Hoke, third baseman. 295 hitter, 280, 282 hitter in 60, but he's got 16 home runs. Here's the pitch to Don Hoke. 45 is a two balls and no strikes. Carball has a Z modifier. 21 is a fly ball to right field. Don Hoke is the first out in the inning. Here is Smokey Burgess. Forty-three is a twenty-nine. Um, ground ball to the pitcher. Let's see who goes, who goes to shortstop to retire. Stewart at second. Fielder's choice for Burgess. He's also slow. Now two outs. Pirates are playing safe. Here is Bob Skinner. Another 43 roll. That's a 29. And that's a with two outs they ground out to the pitcher who throws the first. Pirates are out in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Pirates four and the Mets four. In the bottom of the eighth, Ken Boswell, Ed Charles, and the pitcher are scheduled to hit. Here's a pitch to Ken Boswell. Fred Green is back up for his second inning of work. This will be his fatigue inning. He's a rated reliever. 51 is a nine. That's a base hit for Ken Boswell. Fast runner at first for the Mets. And now Ed Charles, who's had a good day with a bat. Two for three, single, a double, stolen base, and RBI. He will be asked to move the runner by way of the bunt. 32 is a 26, and that is a bunt down the first baseline, fielded by Dick Stewart, who throws to Mazeroski covering a successful sacrifice. One away. Boswell's at second. Timeout. The Mets will bring in Juan Swoboda to pitch hit. Don Carwell will be relieved of his duty after six and a third clean innings of relief. Uh, one down, runner at second. Here's the pitch to Swoboda from Fred Green. 6-2 is a swing and a miss, strike three. 
two outs. Here is Tommy Agee. Big spot for the Mets. Here is the pitch to Agee. 23 is a 33. That's going to be a pop-out. The shortstop, Dick Groat, is under it and makes the catch. So Boswell stranded a second. We go to the ninth. Pirates four and the Mets four. All right, Ron Taylor comes on to pitch for the Mets. He is a grade B pitcher with a Z modifier. And for the Pirates, he's got the bottom of the order. Bill Mazeroski. And I see Dick Schofield comes out of the dugout with a bat in his hands. He'll hit for the pitcher. And then the top of the order, Bill Verdon. Here's a pitch to Bill Mazeroski from Ron Taylor. 34 is a fly ball to center field. One down. Here is Dick Schofield. Thirty-four is also a fly ball to center field. Taken by Tommy Agee. Two outs. And here is where face is warming up in the bullpen. He'll pitch the bottom of the ninth. Here's Billy Verdon. Two outs. Base is clear. Here's the pitch from Taylor. Forty-five is a base on balls. Verdon is a fast runner at first. F31 stealing. The F will mean, um, let's see, two out in the seventh inning or later. Or in the ninth inning, he could steal with any out. 31's high number. Taylor is moved to first as plus two to his favor. The catcher. Grote is a to his favor, so take eight off the thirty-one, be twenty-three. It's gonna be interesting here. Twenty-three is a eleven through forty-five, almost a two-thirds chance to get in scoring position. Why not? There he goes. Twenty-five steals second. Sets it up for Dick Grote. Here's the pitch to Grote from Taylor. 53 is a 19 feeling column 2. Hit by pitch ball. Not the time for retaliation. <laughs> First and second. Clemente. All right, Bob Clemente, Ron Taylor, here's the pitch. 44 is a 7. That's a single to left field. Um, Verdon scores, and the other runner goes to third. Bob Clemente comes through for the Pirates and puts them in front 5-4. to four. Here's Dick Stewart. Right hand. Let's see. Mets are going to go through the bullpen. Joe Hodges is going to bring in Tub McGraw to pitch. Grade A pitcher at X modifier. Dick Stewart will be the hitter. Infield's playing back with two outs. The pitch to Dick Stewart. 32 is a 26. That will end the inning. Ground ball to second base. 4-3. to three. But the Pirates get one in the ninth. They lead 5-4. to four. Roy Face is on to pitch for Pittsburgh in the ninth. He's a great B pitcher. Y and Z modifiers. And he'll have the two, three, and four hitters to deal with. Bud Harrelson leads off for New York now down by a run. They've got only three outs to work with. Here's the pitch to Buddy Harrelson. 52 is a 27. That's a ground ball to the third baseman, Don Hoke. Throws the first. One down. Here is Cleon Jones. 3-3 three, three roll for Jones. That's a hit column roll. And 64 is going to be a double for Cleon Jones. 
in scoring position for Don Clendenin. And the fast runner at second. Here's the pitch to Clendenin. 61 is a 24. Popped up. Dick Rotes under it. He's got it. Two away. The Pirates are one out away from going to six and one on the season. Art Shamsky is standing in their way. 300 hitter and 69. Here's the pitch from Roy Face. 36 is a 12. That's going to be a swing and a miss. Strike three, and the ball game is over. The final score, Pittsburgh 5 and New York 4. We'll be back with a wrap-up. First, let's check the finals around the National League. Uh, the Cincinnati Reds came from behind and beat the Dodgers 4-3. to three. The Atlanta Braves in 10 innings defeated the Chicago Cubs 4-3. to three. And the San Francisco Giants came from behind and beat the St. Louis Cardinals 6-5. In our game today, the Pirates scored five runs on 10 hits and they committed one error. The Mets had four runs on seven hits and no errors. The winning pitcher was Fred Green. Three innings pitch, two hits, strikeout, no walks. Uh, Roy Face got a save. And the losing pitcher was Ron Taylor. Today's star of the game is Fred Green. Uh, actually, both bullpens came up well in this game. Uh, Don Cardwell gave six in the third innings of unscored on baseball for the Mets. Fred Green uh, is the pitcher of record. He gave three clean innings for the Pirates. Uh, the whole Pirates bullpen shined. And Fred Green, a six foot four right hander from Titusville, New, New Jersey, is today's star of the game. He only played in 88 major league games uh, all of which were except for one he started one but all were in relief fred green is your star of the game today i hope you enjoyed this game an exciting contest at forts at uh, shea stadium in new york mets came up short pirates stay on top in the national league standings winning five to four thanks for watching have a good day and god bless